that I start on. What is it? Mm -hmm. It seems today. That's good enough. All you see <laughs> is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values <laughs> on which we used to rely? Lucky there's a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do all the things that make us laugh and cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, all right. <laughs> we all have heroes. What is it about the Fonz that makes him yours? The Fonz always knew exactly who he, who he was. Uh, he could take apart a motorcycle and put it back together. could take apart the hearts of America and put them back together. <laughs> What a tribute. What a tribute. There's a touch of the poet in you, isn't mm -hmm. there? Yeah, yeah. Time, 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 time. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you try to start a religion around him? I did. I did. I started Fonzieism. Uh, didn't, didn't, didn't take too well. Lasted about 22 minutes, the average length of any uh, televised uh, situation comedy. <clears throat> that was William Clinton. How did it come to happen? Um, truth? I was shopping in, in, in Providence, and uh, we met, and uh, we went into the, the cleaning room, the closet, the broom closet there, and we, we stopped. Brian? Yeah, what, yes, what, sir. What? I'm very respectful. Thank you. Well, I'm on Inside the Actor's Studio with James Lipton. <laughs> Brian, since we all know you were having sex with Jillian... Mm. Why would you object to having sex with Meg? Ah, uh, because Jillian is hot and Meg looks like a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> you said you just pitched him once in a meeting, right? I did, James. <laughs> I think he was in the fourth or fifth show of the first season, and that was the first character that I pitched, and then it just kind of went from there. Cleveland, how do you explain this, this, this take you have on the world? Nothing seems to bother you. Well, you know, it's nice to wake up and have a roof over your head, have a woman next to you. If, you. if you're so lucky, have food you can just get out of your fridge. That's all good. That's all you really need, isn't it? <laughs> that guy needs a show. I think that guy's going to get a show. That's right. Mike, the hot-blooded woman like you, wind up with a peaceable man like Cleveland. I think it's... King gang. Opposite the track. <laughs> he divorced me, though. It's over. I know. You f***ed quagmire. <laughs> you, gave, you gave me girth. I was looking for length. <laughs> Look, I, I, I f all comers. I'm, 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 you know, I'm like the old-timey boxing version of a guy who likes sex, you know? F***ing all comers right here. My penis versus whoever. Quagmire, we share an interest. We're both pilots. Yes, yes, sir. Are yes. you a pilot as well? I am as well. Oh, no sh**. What do you fly? Single-engine land. Holy smokes and a vagina. <laughs> what is it about flying that appeals to you? Ah, uh, the women. The pilots get laid a lot. Oh, they do? You know, a lot of layovers, a lot of lay-unders. <laughs> oh, I suppose. I suppose you notice, Stewie, that I can understand you. Yes, well, well, you've noticed a lot of things tonight, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> But I feel very proud of the fact that I can understand you. Not everybody can. Well, pride is a sin, my friend. What's your question? <laughs> you are a bit snarky, aren't you? <laughs> From time to time, yes. yes. I find, it, I find it, 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 it defines me as a person, that yes. and the fact that I, 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 I stool wherever I please. <laughs> Uh, how have you acquired such a mastery of the English language? I find that English is a fascinating musical, magical mixing of sounds. I find myself to, to, to get sort of a, a um, linguistic erection at times. Really? It's the idea of words and what they can do and, and what you can do with words and what words can do to each other. 
You've said on occasion that you love God because he's so deliciously evil. Mm. And he's a bastard. <laughs> really? He's a wicked bastard. The mm. things he does, let me tell you, have you read the Old Testament? Yes. Good Lord, there's some f***ed up shit in there. Mm. <laughs> Stewie, in a nutshell, what have you got against your mother? This mystique that she is successfully instilled around herself. Oh, I'm, I, 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 I'm the, the ruler of this castle. You know, I, I tell you what to do, and, and you do it, and that's the natural order of things, and it's been that way for thousands of years, and plus she's a cunt. <laughs> well said. Yes. <laughs> you make frequent sexual references, but what is your age? One. Wouldn't, wouldn't that sorry, sorry, one and three quarters. <laughs> wouldn't that technically make you prepubescent? My friend, I have had boners that will knock your socks off. It is an absolute... <laughs> Ever been in the corner drugstore, picked up a pack of Tums? That's what I'm dealing with. I understand. <laughs> either, that, either that or I'm talking a big game and I'm just making that up. But what's your next question? It will come as no surprise to Chris. I've been waiting for this a long time, Mr. Lipton. <laughs> so have I. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're both getting what we want. <laughs> is it correct to say that one of the central themes of your life is masturbation? Yeah, yeah. What is it about masturbation that so appeals to you? Well, James, it's free and... Uh... <laughs> And it's, it's really one of the things I can claim is all mine. Uh, except an occasion where someone will witness it, in which case it's something we share. I see. That's how you hurt your hand, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it is quite a workout. <laughs> heavy, heavy lifting, as they say, Mom. Don't rub it in. <laughs> well, I, I rubbed it in the carpet one time, but... Chris, you can speak frankly here. It will go no further. Do you ever have the feeling that your mother may be more affectionate toward others of her children? Oh, no. Me and Mom love each other very much. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm her favorite! <laughs> I see. James. What about your sister, Meg? James. What? He thinks he's my favorite. He thinks he's my favorite. He'll never know. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Do you feel that your family understands you fully? Well, quite frankly, James, I don't feel that anyone understands me, but that's really? why I spend so much private time masturbating. <laughs> Here is Seth's favorite... Uh. <laughs> you look like an elderly retiree. But you seem to have a lot of life left in you. That's right. <laughs> Especially when Chris comes by in his paper room. Oh, boy. Do any other boys appeal to you as well? Is it just a... Yeah, whatever, whoever. <laughs> Anybody who comes along the block? Yeah, but if I could have Chris, I'd be all she wrote. Really? Oh, he wrote. When Herbert speaks to you, has it ever occurred to you that he might want you to come inside, for example? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Herbert always invites me inside for a TV or a thing along. Or oh, I've got new video games in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, but as usual, I'm on a schedule, so... All right. You've never been able to get in there, huh? Yeah, we don't really go into Mr. Herbert's house. Just get your f***ing ass down there. <laughs> Is your take on Trisha based on someone? You know, it's just kind of that cadence that almost every news reporter has. It's just that, that bizarre way of talking. <laughs> I'm sitting here on the stage with Seth MacFarlane. Seth, how do you think it went? I think it went pretty good. Back to you. Just kind of this 